everyone, Renium T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean until the end of time. In the last part, we got through most of the Sphere Company, and in this part, we're going to explore, but we also need to unlock the elevator because, well, it's the only way to, uh, to the top floor, which is the only way we can get out of here. So, I believe there is a shop here now? Customer, not so much only calling company policy, go easy on them. Oh yes, uh, is there anything you need right now? Yeah, so there is a shop here if you need to buy any items. Like if you've used up all your items or anything while you've been in here. But I think I'm good. Um, so I'm just going to proceed forward. So we got interrupted on this floor because, well, security caught us in front of this door. And so we need to go get to the switch here. So before we go up, which is where the switch actually is, we want to head down here into this door. It's right here because there is treasure. Alrighty, treasure. Mmm, another laser weapon. Nice. Okay. Uh, I wanna. No. I think what I will do is I am gonna switch her back to that upgrade the pulse gun. I do eventually want to upgrade those laser weapons. Yeah, I do eventually want to upgrade those laser weapons, but for now I'm not going to. I want to get some better stuff to upgrade them with. Anyway, we get a mental enhancer in here. And now we can head back up. Let's not fight that guy again. Thanks. Or this guy. He might be... Oh, apparently he really wanted to fight. Jerk. Let's see what happened to your MP, Sophia. But then I remembered. These guys do MP damage. Um. I'm gonna use the defense. I'm gonna hold off on these guys. Alright. Let's us head up here. Eh, do I really want to fight these guys? Also, why is there more security? I thought we took care of this nonsense. I guess we didn't really, did we? <sighs> I can wish. Anyways, come over here. We have a lot of chests in here. You get trading card two. Over here we get a ceramic gauntlet. Oh my gosh, someone needs these guys. And right berries. I really should be fighting them. But anyway, last one. Synthesis materials. So believe we well if we head in here we just get a little bit of map it looks like yeah just a little bit of the map there and a little bit more of the map but more importantly we had the elevator control panel we should be able to operate the elevator like this or with this so if we we have to come up here to turn on the elevator and now we have to head all the way back Just brilliant. Still don't want to fight these guys. Anyway, I will meet you back at the elevators. So you might be wondering, where in the world are the elevators? Well, remember those weird things we've been passing? These are the elevators. So, we can either go directly to the top, the floor 211, or we can go anywhere from floors 6 to 100. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I need to cherry pick out of floor 6 to 100 a few chests. Now, each floor does have chests to it, but the important ones are um, not on every floor. So... Or we're just ba basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the must visit floors. 
if we want to call him that. So our first stop is floor 13. And so basically how the maps work in these floors is there's certain sets of maps. These do not count towards your percentages in this area. So I need to find and match which floor type 13 is. It's that one which with where the chest I want is because of how this works. So I believe we want to head back here. Now there are enemies here, the same ones we've been facing. So that has the silver chalice. That was our first, basically, must-have item. So that's it for what is on this floor. Oops, I thought I went through the door. So, of course, once you go to the elevator, there is a down elevator and there's an up elevator. Now, I believe I might be wrong here. I really don't, if I don't explore much of Sphere, I really don't explore this part very much. But I believe if we go to where the up elevator is in this layout, we can find this chest, which has a jewel of refuge. Eh, whatever. So now we can only go to an upper floor. So our next destination is 16. 16 is another different layout, but it should be pretty easy to pull the item out of 16 that we want because it is right by the upper elevator. So if we simply head around here. I want to head down here. I went the wrong way. Let's not fight that guy. I would rather not have to deal with it right now. So, keep on heading around. And in here, we should have the elevator along with our chest that we want the trading card EX7. So, next up, we want to head to. Floor 18. Now floor 18 is yet another different layout. I don't know which one it was. That's that one. Alright. And we are looking for that chest, so we want to head. Oops, it doesn't. Oh, okay, we're fine. I was getting confused. I was looking at the wrong section. So, the chest over here with nothing. Now, there are empty chests on the floors, but obviously, we don't really need to get them because they're empty. Um, the head down around here to grab. This one, I don't think it is. No, it's not. There is a chest in this layout right in that corner, but there isn't actually one on this floor. Uh, just keep on avoiding these enemies. Should really fight some of them, but this guy really wants to be fought. Come down here, we pick up Intellect Plus Berries. Hi, I'm not fighting you. Leave me alone. You too. Now there is another item on the floor that is not as important. It's simply a jewel of alertness. It's on the eastern side of the map, but like I said, I'm not really gonna worry about that one. I'm just going for the important items right now. So we want to head in here. This is where our elevator is. Hello. Alright, our next destination is, I'm making a big jump here, up to 30. On floor 30, 
we have a single important chest. There's actually two chests here. One is empty though. And we want to head for that layout. Oh gosh, I don't know which one it was. It is that chest, which is way out of the way. All right, so we head down and head to the right. Because I'll oh, get more licenses on sales. And my ventures aren't doing anything, are they? Oh well. Saving me money, I guess. Um, over here, we can pick up Book of Prophecies 4. Now we can head for the up elevator. Oh, uh, it was the only chest worth getting on here because the other chest on here is empty, like I said. So, at this point, we now want to head over to this path. Um, and head not down. Oh. Alright, let's continue heading down the way we need to go. Please don't attack me, I'm innocent! I'm just trying to take your items. All I want is your loot. Should be nearing that elevator somewhere like here. So our next stop is 47. 47 is that layout, which we have not been to. And we want that chest. There are three chests in here, only one actually has an item. So, not one item is right on our pass. So, let's head there. I think. Yes, let's head there. Wait, I'm confused. This is not. Forty-seven. Oh, because it's that one. Okay, I am a little less confused now. We are back on this layout, the one we were on, I think, two floors ago. So this one shouldn't be too tough now that I'm actually looking at the right map. But we do once again need to head down this way, right past the elevator, to go grab this chest over here. Now, if you do want to explore all 95 floors or whatever, then mainly what you're going to find in here, besides these important items on these particular floors, is just a lot of synthesis materials. There are a lot in here. Also, there's another intellect plus berry. Um, there's also some like jewels of alertness, jewels of refuge. So if you're into those items, then you can explore the rest of the floors. I'm not going to go for all the layouts yet. I will eventually get the rest of the maps. Anyways, our next stop is floor 50. D, please. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about everything yet. We will eventually be exploring this dungeon, but not right now. All right, so we want that and that. All right, they're making us easy on me. We want to go. And down. This is layout one, which was what was on floor one. So, or the first floor we explored, not floor one. Floor 13? Floor 13, I think that was the first one we did. I'm the right, yes, I'm in the right area. Our chest is right here. We have trading card EX8. Next stop is another big jump. A really big jump this time. We are going to 85. On 85, we have actually two synthesis materials, the Jewel of Alertness and Book of Prophecies 3, which is the one we are actually here for. I did not actually grab the layout. That one. It is right in this room, or should be. There is the Jewel of Alertness. That is not what I'm looking for. Alright, it's down there. Okay. That's 
where one of the jewels of alert or where the jewel of alertness is. Just not the one I was looking for. I'm actually looking for down here. Hello. There is a synthesis materials right there. And there's probably another big robot in here. Okay, where is that chest? Perfect. Chest is not where it's supposed to be. Right. All right. Well, we have to go on the hunt for this chest because it's clearly not where it says it is. Oh boy. It is on this floor. Just a matter of where on the map is it? Um, there should be a, a chest in here. Yes, there it is. There is a. Book of Prophecies 3 in here. That, that is not the... Oh, that, that was supposed to be synthesis materials according to this list. Alright, well, that's where the Book of Prophecies 3 is. So with that item in hand, let's head for the elevator. And not get ambushed again by enemies. That's not close. Yeah, that's where I am. So it would have been much simpler if I had known to just go that way. Just go down from there. Anyway, I need to head back. And... And up to here. I would like to not fight you guys, thanks. And here we have that MIA synthesis, or a synthesis material, not the MIA one. That one is supposed to be there. Anyways, our next and final destination is simply up on 86. So there's two main chests here, one of which we actually want. There is a jewel of refuge. So we want to go for that one. So let's simply head down this way around this way. And we'll eventually make it to our destination. Which is over here behind the robot. With one more intellect plus berry. I guess it berries, but anyways, uh, that concludes our little exploration through this area. But now we've done that, we can and I believe head right up to the top. So let's us make our way towards that last or last for now up elevator. Which simply should be not that way. <laughs> I went through the wrong door. Simply should be around here. Hey, seriously, are my adventures not doing anything? We are checking this right here, right now. Oh, good. The technological superpower? Yeah, the cutscene. Master Bell and Chure has invented an incredibly powerful sword. Oh man. He's named it Divine Avenger. He claims it is the most powerful sword in the world. Incredible. My sympathies to the other craftsmen. It looks like only one of these ultimate weapons will be put on sale. Hey, Welch! Welch! It's priced at... Let's see... Wow! 50 million full! That's a lot of money. The world could afford such a thing. Huh? That was all wrong? 
Way to spread rumors. Jeez. And false information. Oh, well, that's cute. Anyway, we can file a patent for a virtuous potion. Apparently we have some patents to file. I'm just here to check on my inventors game. That's all I'm here for. Figure out what in the world is going on. Get that, and... I do want a patent resurrection elixir because I would like to be able to buy some more, if I'm honest. Oh wow, that is really low quality. Or really low review. Uh, change orders. I don't know, they are set to do things, they just aren't inventing anything, apparently. Thanks, guys. Anyways, path to our exploration. Well, maybe there's right around here. And we want to head to floor 211. Our final stop on this adventure. So welcome back to the map we had to fill out. Let's see if we can actually do this. The last 25% of the map should hopefully be here. I'm hoping. And we are going to have a lot of area to explore and more enemies! Why are there enemies up here? Gosh. So rude. I was not wanting enemies here. Now you can just head straight for the save point. I'm not going to. Like I said, I'm seeing if I can fill out the rest of this map. I'll get that on the way back. It's probably... <sighs> anyway, chest up here with a celestial pixie. See, it was worth coming up here after all. And I guess now I have to grab this book, don't I? Alright. That's that side. That was only 6% of the map. Brilliant. Oh, okay, there's more here. Now, I believe if you come through the middle here, you will find a healing point and a save point. We aren't going to progress forward yet. There's a reason these are here. And I want to explore the rest of this map. So apparently there are chests here that aren't marked on the map, but I have. Thanks, good. Much appreciated. Anyway, let's head over here. And we basically have a copy of what we just went through. So, we just obviously flipped around. And we will simply head around here, apparently including the enemies. A copy indication. And we get a dilapidated textbook. You actually will pick that one up, I believe, because that is in the AA. Nice. I avoided the enemy. So away with this one. It might be a little more challenging because there's thank you. And I don't know if I'm gonna get this last 12%. I'm starting to get worried. But we will persevere. And... Alright, well we're still missing 10% of the map. That's perfect. I probably missed a bunch on the lower sections, didn't I? Yeah. Well, we'll be back here eventually. Anyway. I mean, we do sell this section, but I don't think it's 10% of the map. There's not much there. Anyway, I do want to actually save it now because we have stuff to do. So let's save it here. And save it down here, I believe. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just save it down here. And we will actually get some story done here. I wasn't sure, but since we were able to not have to explore most of the hundred floors, we were able to get through here. So let's press forward. 
Whoa. This is really funky. This way. This is the only terminal in this building that can access the Milky Way right now. Get inside. I'll configure it from out here. Okay. We're counting on you. Thanks, Blair. We'll save the Eternal Sphere. Don't you worry. Oh, we got this. You really saved the day. I think we I can want pull the map. this off thanks to you. <sighs> See you soon. We won't forget your kindness. Leave the rest to us. Hey. Thanks. Sorry for all the trouble. We'll give it our best shot. Um, Blair, thank you for all you've done. We'll never forget it. We'll always remember you. Unless we get deleted. Then we won't remember you. Because we'll be deleted. Give it your best shot. Only you can save your own reality. All right. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye. Can you at least send this to somewhere safe? No, you probably can't, can you? Okay. Good luck. Have a welcoming party. Ugh, these pests are everywhere. You take care of the uninstaller, Sophia. Okay, I'll give it a try. Sophia will temporarily leave the party. We would like to switch combat members because we don't exactly have someone. We find you using her. So that means we have to bring in fate. We'll take care of these things. Unfortunately we can't do any equipment, so hopefully he's all set up. So this is another whole pro gamer. I am a success to her. Alright, I guess he is set up for the head for Alba. All right, so that's the proclaimer down. That was a fight. So luckily, this is a pretty decent spot for experience. Sophia's so continuing work, and we've got another fight to take care of. Nothing yet, Sophia. Sorry. Uh, hold on a bit longer. I'm working on it. Not again. I said we have another fight to take care of. This is an enforcer. Or her. I'm sorry, no. So we will go back to what we're doing. Luckily, fate back in the party kicks for a lot. So take care of that. Take it out. And finally, are we done yet? Are we there? That was all they showed. Hopefully we're good. Done. What's happening? Uh 
Earthquake? Must be an earthquake. Or that. Uh, I don't like that. Or maybe it's good. I thought we beat those though. Why the color? Are we safe? Good. Did it work? Did that do it? Is it over now, Fate? We did it! Victory! I think so. I wonder what happened to that owner guy. Nothing to worry about now. Those irritating executioners are gone. It's over. It's over. What a relief. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go home. Okay. Oh what boy, the... what now? What the hell's happening? This is no ordinary earthquake. Uh now I really don't like that. What's going on? Does this mean it's not over yet? I don't get it. You mean it's not over? Oh boy. Gotta be king. I don't like the looks of this. Careful, people. I sense a power beyond anything we've faced so far. <laughs> this? This is the convictor. It's not over don't yet. So, you watch for his attack, as per usual. He has 10,000 MP, and I think 120,000 MP. So, I don't know which is gonna do it, but. Fate died! But we beat it. That's, that's cool. At least he leveled up. Fate did not, because he died. So yeah, you have to watch for his attacks, like so, as you saw, he kinda got wrecked. Oh boy. Anyway. Does this mean we haven't defeated them? Or have we? Well, there's a lot of zippers. Why are there zippers? That was close. That wasn't good. It's smaller than before, but so much more powerful. Everyone, can you hear me? Blair? What? Oh, good. You're all okay. Blair, what in the world is going on? We used the uninstaller, but it didn't get rid of the executioners. That's just it. We've been tricked. Oh. You mind filling us in? What's going on? You're gonna tell us what's going on, right? Yes. <sighs> we aren't it seems done the yet. owner anticipated our move. Anticipated? That's right. The owner suspected that we'd use the uninstaller, so he prepared a security program. 
Oh, of course. With a special program set to activate only when the uninstaller was used. So that we just made things worse. We just Yay! Bought. You already saw one? Yeah, we just finished it off a minute ago. You defeated it? Yeah, but it was tough. I see. So I guess you figured out that these convictors are different from the enforcers you faced so far. Mm-hmm. They're smaller, but their combat parameters are set much higher. The galaxy is doomed if we don't do something. Wasn't already is doomed if we didn't do anything. We do? So nothing's changed. The activation of the respect. security program left traces in your dimension. In short, the owner is now within the eternal sphere. Oh boy. Well, so what are we supposed to do about it? I plan on explaining that to you too. You must go try to reason with the owner. I think the galaxy will be spared if you can get him to uninstall the security program. So we're supposed to just ask him nicely and yes, bake him some cookies? Do you really think he'll listen? If we need to uninstall the security program, we'll do it by force if necessary. That's right. I like the baking cookies the idea more. has probably entered into a discontiguous space he himself has created. You'll need a special ID or intervention device to go there. A special what ID? is that? To your eyes, it would appear to be a mysterious item that you don't know how to use. Your people call such things out-of-place artifacts, OPAs. Hey, we found one of those. We've prepared them for use within the Eternal Sphere. I suppose you could call them debugging tools. They have immense power within the Eternal Sphere when used by someone who understands their potential. So what do they actually look like? They take many forms. Some are crystal cubes, while others appear to be strange devices. It all depends on the whim of their developer, and on the locations in which they are placed. So you're saying now we have to search the galaxy for a Guys, we already found like one. Anything? There's no time for Remember. This. Game over, man. Hold on a second. I'm going to search the database. We already found one. We know where it is. We just have to go get it. Hopefully. I found one. The special ID in the Milky Way appears to be a silvery spear. It does not have any Very. special effect in particular, but it contains a great deal of energy. I think I can pinpoint its location. Just a second. I'm still looking. These guys don't have the best memory, do they? Yes. That's what you the data think they have better memory for being programs. Well, that star has already been annihilated. Other than that... Oh, what a mess. Hey, Blair. By any chance, is it about this big? Yes, just about that size. Why do you ask? Because we've already found it! Blair, it wouldn't be on Elacor 2, would it? Elacor 2? Hold on, let me check. Oh my gosh, these guys. Seriously. I found it! It is there! Of course. How did you know? Because we already found it. We've already seen it. We were charged with protecting it while we were on Elacor. The people there call it the Sacred Orb. I see. What a strange coincidence. You should be able to access the discontinuous <sighs> space with that Sacred Orb. Okay, everyone. We're off to Elacor. No, I don't want to go back Sophia, there, though. When you find the sacred orb, you must touch it. Why me? The special IDs are devices originally placed in the Eternal Sphere for 4D beings to use. They are configured so that other beings cannot use them for their intended purpose. In short, it is useless to all of you except Sophia. Based on what I've seen so far, I think she is the only one who can use it. Okay. 
Once it reacts, think of me in your mind. Think of this place. That should enable you to get in contact with me again. Okay, I'll try. Be careful. We're always careful. Now, I don't believe they've added the save point here, unfortunately, but we do want to switch our party back to have Sophia back in. I guess she can scrape Theta up off the ground. I guess. So I don't believe they've added the save point. Oh, no, they have! Hello! So, on that note, I think I'm going to end the episode there before I have another hour-long episode. So... Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this episode and the series in general, then be sure to, or you are enjoying the series and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also if you like to help support it and any else for us greatly appreciate it, be sure to check out my Patreon and my Godbox. Both are awesome options for helping support what I do here. And if you like to find me on social media, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch, where I stream five days a week. All the links for this are down there in the description. So Go check it out. And yeah, so thank you all for watching, and until next time, this is Renium T signing out.